Hello, Archie Pepper here, working from home, Ob. Uh, it's going pretty well. I've been banging this drum for years. There's no need for me to work in an office. Russian hackers don't work in an office. Why should I? The only problem is when, you know, the chief constantly emailing me 20, 30 times a day. Four times I've broken lockdown to go and try and fix his printer. He doesn't get it. Even I can't work at printers. Printers just don't work. Since lockdown, online scams have gone through the roof. Everyone's sitting at home on their devices. They're sitting ducks. So today what I'm doing is I'm catfishing scamsters. Today I'm posing as a pensioner, Mrs. Angus MacDonald, brackets retired. Um, you don't have to put on an old lady voice, but it helps, I find, to get into character, you know. That's me just logging onto my electronic mail account. Where's the shifty button? Rinse my bank account. Protection for 5G, I'll need that, aye. You no, know, the scum of the earth, these guys trying to trick old women. It's horrible, but obviously, I've catfished them, I've used the GPS. There'll be bobbies on the beat around there in 10 minutes, get them in cuffs. You're going to jail, you wee dafty. If I can just clean up the internet that little bit, make one granny's life better from being safe online, that'll do me. The problem is cybercrime has been rising steadily for years anyway, but now due to the pandemic, there are new crimes happening. As a public service, I'd just like to give you the names of many apps that you should not trust, okay? Test it, trace it, iSwap, Trackeroo, Just Trace, Traceflix, Trace Prime, Base Trace in your face, Ultimate Justice Complete Trace Protector, Tracebook, Trace Off, Traces of Nuts. A lot of them have sort of daft names like that, so don't get reeled in. Um, Operation Moonshot. Oh no, that's real.